Hello photography fans and welcome to my backroom. In today's episode we're not discussing cameras. In today's episode we're doing salt printing. Yes, yet again we're doing salt printing. This time however we're doing salt printing using very special negatives. About six months ago I went to a local garage sale and I got a box of these Kramer is it Kramer? Yeah, Kramer photo dry plates. I'm guessing they're between 90 and 100 years old. They could be they could be younger, they could be older. I'm not sure. I tried to look up the company, there's some information, but the dates vary between 120 years, 115 years to 100 years. These plates were exposed. Uh, there are portraits, there are some pictures of, of people and some landscape. So I got a box of 12 of these and I decided it would be ideal to do some salt printing. Here's the first attempt at it. The plates are very dense. They haven't been stored very well, so this 10 minute exposure is um, is still too, too light. So I'm cooking another one, and that one's been there for about 20 minutes. So I'll try to rinse it and see what comes out. Because when you rinse it, it becomes lighter. When you fix it, it becomes lighter yet. This way, uh, you need to cook it for quite a bit. So let's see what comes up. Alright, so I think I'm going to let it be. The edges are pretty dark. They're super dark. So I'm going to kill my um, UV table. Get the glass off. Ah, this one turned out nice. So as you can see, this is what they look like. There are some imperfections due to hand process, but let's wash it. So as I mentioned, as you wash the plates, they become, as you wash the prints, they become lighter. And you have to wash it uh, several times to rinse out all the unexposed silver salts. In this case it's silver chloride because I used uh, for this process I just used uh, sea salt and silver nitrate combined with sea salt creates sil uh, silver chloride. So I'm going to rinse it a few times then I'm going to put it in a uh, fixing bath, which is just rapid fix. I should be using uh, Kodak fixer, which is um, thiosulfate, uh, but I'm just using what I have right now. So as you can see, the water that comes out of this is quite milky. So you wash it, and then if you put it in the fixer, it becomes lighter yet. As you can see, Okay, so I, I let the print cook in uh, rapid fix for uh, roughly about five minutes. And you see how lighter it's gotten. So I'm going to put it to wash, but I want just to let you see the print itself. Now let me put it in a tray so it doesn't drip all over. These are uh, girls dance, girl dancers and up against some kind of background. I have no idea who took this photo. Uh, obviously there's some imperfection, but there are a lot of, lots of imperfections on the plate. So I'm just gonna wash it for about 10 minutes and um, clear all the, all the fixer. But I'm not sure, these are definitely ethnic clothing, but I'm not sure what ethnicity. Maybe somebody knows, they can comment and let me know if these are Italian, Greek, 
Spanish. So let me wash it and uh, I'll, I'll cook another plate and I'll let you see what comes up after that. So here I'm uh, exposing another plate. Um, this one has um, quite a few uh, marks and um, issues that the motion started to peel off and uh, there are some burn-like marks on it. However, I'll also be doing uh, some contact printing and this is one of the prints. I find it very interesting and that's what, lead, that what leads me, this image leads me to believe that these plates have to be around 100 years old. There's a group of people here and uh, some kids on some kind of wooden boat uh, on some kind of pier. Ladies are wearing uh, period clothing. Uh, I'll try to scan these pictures so you guys can see them better at the end of the video. Uh, tonight I'm planning on doing uh, maybe four, five um, salt prints, but I'll be doing more of these. So I'll try to scan them into the computer and put them at the end of the video very interesting process and why did I decide to, to contact uh, salt prints is because if these uh, photographs are like I'm thinking 100 and more years old salt print was uh, salt printing was around that time um, I would imagine popular um, popular process of uh, creating positives so stick around when this prints develop uh, when this one develops this one is for kids on a boat by some kind of river or lake. I'll share that image with you as well. It's already getting late. It's, let, me, let me look. It's 11.24 p.m. Uh, it takes quite a long time to process one image. I want to make sure they become dark enough uh, and not the light uh, image that I created in the beginning. The plates are very dense. As you can see Hopefully you can see maybe now that this plate is pretty dense, most of them are, and um, that uh, prolongs the development time. So stick around. Okay, so this has been it's been around 20 minutes uh, since we started cooking this. Let's take it off and um, see what uh, what's there. The edges look almost black, so that's a good sign. Let's see what's there. Yeah, it's some places are just dark, some places are light, but this is due to the plate. The plate is uh, darker in some spots, and some spots is much lighter. It's got some yellowing discoloration on it. Well, let's put it in a uh, wash and see what's there. There's one pet I like to pet, and every evening we get set. I stroke it every chance I get. It's my girl's pussy. Seldom plays and never purrs, and I love the thoughts it stirs, but I don't mind because it hurts my girl's pussy. Often it goes out at night, returns at break of dawn. No matter what the weather's like, it's always...